Hey Brad, our long-term tester Toyota Tundra pickup, it's got two vanity mirrors too, but they're small and they're not lighted. And I haven't looked at them. No pickup truck guy would dare look in those mirrors, Brad. But I'll tell you, every time I'm at the gas station, and that's quite often in this baby, uh, I seem to get comments from other pickup truck drivers. They're really interested in this truck. They can't get over the size of this truck. It's a big beast. Eight foot box, the crew cab. It's a really big truck, long wheelbase. I mean, you're backing this thing in everywhere you go, but boy, does it drive nice. The ride and handling are fantastic with that long wheelbase and the great suspension it's got. Talking about getting back to mirrors again, I really like the mirrors on this. That was one of my pet peeves with our last long-term tester. The mirrors on the Tundra are great. Ergonomics of the interior, pretty darn good. One pet peeve in there, and that is the uh, fuel gauge and the, the uh, coolant temperature gauge are very small diameter and sunk in a really deep hole. So unless you're directly lined up with them, they're a little bit tough to see, but that's a minor annoyance. Believe me, you learn to live with it. Look at the front end of the Tundra. You can notice how much they've shrunk this front end. I mean, from here to the nose of the truck, that area has really shrunk. I was looking at it beside my 92 Chevy pickup the other day, and it's incredible how much trucks have shrunk in this particular dimension. The Tundra is no exception. And you would think that with that big 5.7 V8, it'd be tough to service. Not the case. You open the hood on the Tundra, great access to the engine. In spite of this big engine, everything comes off relatively easily. Toyota's famous for that, being very mechanic friendly. Their vehicles are always that way. The Tundra's no exception. Looks like getting at spark plugs is gonna be dead simple and all the other service points under the hood. Now, as I said, fuel economy's not great, but we didn't expect fantastic fuel economy with a truck this big, this heavy, and 381 horsepower. You just don't look for fuel economy. Now, as I mentioned earlier, our Tundra has the 5.7 liter V8, probably more engine than I need for what I typically do. Unless you're towing a significantly heavy trailer or load on a regular basis, you probably don't need that big engine. But the Tundra comes with a 4.7 V8. We had one a couple of years ago, very robust engine, plenty of power there too, and a 4 liter V6 is available in certain configurations as well. Now, Toyota hasn't got displacement on demand or cylinder deactivation yet. Don't be surprised if they join in with GM and Dodge who've played that card already to improve fuel mileage. Interesting little problem happened the other day on the highway and that was this bug deflector on the leading edge of the hood started buzzing and vibrating and rattling unbelievably bad. Uh, three of the mounting points in the center here had sort of broken loose and it was really, really vibrating. So I pulled over, took an exit and uh, went to the old standby, passed the duct tape on the leading edge and a couple of little balls of duct tape rolled up and jammed in the back, quietened it right down and got rid of the vibration. It was pretty bad to the point where I thought that thing was going to come off. And uh, like those credit card guys uh, using their motto, don't leave home without it. Well, when you're a mechanic, duct tape, don't leave home without it. Till next week, I'm Bill Gardner for Motoring 2007.